Hello everyone, welcome to Joyful Creations. This is Jayshree this side. Today in this video tutorial, I'm sharing with you a mixed media layout I created as a design team member for Mixed Media Academy's monthly blog challenge. But before we begin, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel if you're new here. It would mean a lot to me. For this layout, I'm using the very beautiful Flora Bella paper pack from Minte. I'm using two design sheets here. I'm tearing off one to put it in the center as an added layer along with a vellum sheet. I'm hand tearing it as it gives a grungy look. Next I have here a ton of fussy cut elements from the paper pack itself which I'm using for embellishing my composition. This paper pack is full of elements and comes along with the separate element sheet too. I'm using a clay mold frame and a couple of film roll chipboards for embellishment too. Satisfied with my composition, I'm starting to prime my base design paper with clear gesso. Once gesso dries, I'm using the floral swirls stencil from Finnabare and some texture paste through it in the background. Next, I am sprinkling some blush pearl embossing powder in some places while the texture paste is still wet and then heat setting it. This will give my background an uplifted and a soft embossed look. Now that the texture paste has dried completely, I am adhering the other pattern paper on top and adding a chipboard behind it for some dimension. Next, I am using Lindy's Oom Papa Pink Magical Shaker Powder Pigment and adding some more color to my textured design area. This is a similar blush color as that of the embossing powder. I am simply sprinkling some powder on the paper and then spraying water to move the color around. I am dabbing off the extra water and color using a tissue paper. This will leave us with a nice watercolor effect in the background. using the same pink pigment to color the clay mold frame as well.
Once the paint dries, I am using a script stamp to add behind the area to be covered by the vellum paper. Since this month's challenge is all about using stamps in our projects along with the theme of memories, I find it a great way to use my stamp in this composition as it will give a nice pattern to be slightly visible through the vellum paper. Next I am going ahead by adhering the vellum paper and then my embellishments to form the composition. I am using small pieces of chipboard behind some fussy cut elements to uplift them and add dimension to the layout. Also using some handmade formalin flowers, foliage and lace die cutouts for embellishment. The list of all the products used is given in the description box below so do check that out. Also if you are enjoying watching this tutorial please do give this video a thumbs up. You can watch many more other layout tutorials on my channel as well. I have linked the playlist for you in the top right corner of this video.
satisfied with the composition, I am using more stamps to enhance my background. One way is to add some brick wall textured stamps here and there lightly like this. And another way is to include your stamps by adding some swirls around the floral composition like this. Last but not the least, I'm adding some micro pearls on and around my flowers along with some pastel colored pearls. Finally, topping off my whole composition with some black gesso splatters. Here is the final look of the layout. I hope you liked this tutorial and are inspired to make your own compositions. Please do give this video a thumbs up. If you enjoyed watching this tutorial and do subscribe to my channel before you go. Until next time, stay home, stay safe and keep crafting. Bye-bye.